Hey guys and welcome to another very exciting video. In this video I want to talk a little bit about the great features that are available in the latest version of Adobe After Effects which was released on June 18. The latest version of After Effects is After Effects CC 2014 and the CC actually stands for Creative Cloud. Ever since version CS6 Adobe has actually moved their licensing as well as their product distribution onto the cloud. That means that rather than buying the products individually off the shelf for I think it was usually around $1000 per product you now pay a monthly subscription fee to Adobe and for that you get access to all of Adobe's products, all of the latest updates and the latest versions. You simply download them off the internet. To me, because I use a whole bunch of Adobe's products, the Creative Cloud really makes sense and I'm paying $50 Australian a month to get access to all of that. Um, I think it's a really good deal and because there were new versions of Adobe After Effects, Premiere and all the other products released in the middle of June, I want to jump into After Effects and show you some of the really cool new features that are available in Adobe After Effects CC 2014. After Effects CC 2014 introduces effect masks that allow you to define the area of your layer that each effect is applied to. To some degree, you were able to do that with adjustment layers, but this is much easier and much more flexible. Let's apply a brightness and contrast effect to this shot from our Candy Crush Saga Nightmare video. Right now the effect is applied to the entire layer, but what if we wanted to keep the area around Walter nice and bright? Simply apply a mask to the area around Walter and then expand the settings for the brightness and contrast effect. Every effect now has composition options and if you add those, you can define reference masks that are then used to limit the area of the effect. This has automatically been set to the mask we just added and so only Walter sits in the dark. The mask itself has been marked as an effect mask and we can alter its properties to control the reach of the effect. For this example, I actually want to change the mask mode to subtract to make everything except the area around Walter dark. Since the mask controls the area of the effect, you can also animate the mask path to, for example, have the bright area follow Walter as he jumps off the couch. I really like this feature and I do like how easy it is to use. One of the most common techniques in visual effects is green screening. Yes, I know this is a really bad green screen setup. Just look the other way while you listen to my calming voice. After Effects CC 2014 contains two new effects to help you deal with bad footage that might contain compression artifacts and other ugliness that can make your key chatter. These two effects can be found under the keying tab and are called Key Cleaner and Advanced Spill Suppressor. They are both meant to be used in conjunction with the key light effect. I already have key light applied to this clip from our short film Mario's Magic Mushroom. Note that Mario's hair is rather badly keyed out and if we jump over to the alpha channel you can see that the key has some blocky artifacts due to the compression used for this clip. Key Cleaner can help remove a lot of these compression artifacts and smoothen out the edges of your key. If we go back to the RGB channel, you can see that the hair is much better keyed out, but now we have a bit of green spill on it. For this, we can subsequently apply the Advanced Spill Suppressor. Note how much nicer this key looks and Mario's hair has been properly separated from the green screen backdrop. Now onto one of my favorite features for CC 2014, live text templates. I edit all of my videos in Premiere Pro and I often use lots and lots of titles that appear at the bottom of the screen. These are usually set up with a nicely animated video overlay and on top of that sits a separate title layer that is animated in Premiere Pro to fade in at the right time. CC 2014 introduces a great feature that I've already seen in other video editing packages like Final Cut Pro. And that is being able to create complex animated titles in Adobe After Effects, import them into Premiere Pro and then change any of the embedded text elements within Premiere. Here, back in After Effects CC 2014, I have a fairly complicated animated title. This is something I could not do in Premiere Pro and before, if I wanted to change this text, I'd have to change this After Effects composition each time and render out individual titles. Yuck! But now you can simply go to the composition settings and under the advanced tab you will find a checkbox to turn this composition into a template. This will make all text elements in this composition editable in Premiere Pro. Back in Premiere Pro let's first delete all of my clumsily set up titles. Then simply import your After Effects projects and select the composition that we marked as a live text template. 
In the project window, you can then click on the imported After Effects composition and if you go over to the effect controls, you can now see the text elements that are contained within the composition exposed to be changed right here. You can then drag the composition into your sequence and voila! A complex text animation with text we can change on the fly. Awesome! My only complaint about this feature would be that in order for you to create a title with a different text, you actually have to re-import the composition and change the text on the project instance as it is called. So you can't simply drag this composition multiple times into your sequence and change the text each time. You have to re-import a new copy for each title. Still, I love this feature. It's simple to use and it gives you the power to now go back and change the underlying After Effects composition and do anything you'd like and all of the titles would update correspondingly. I'm really excited about all of the cool new features of Adobe After Effects. Live text templates could have been implemented a bit nicer without having to re-import the same composition over and over again, but it is a step forward and I won't complain, it'll make my life a whole lot easier and I'm pretty sure that it will make yours a lot easier too. Now this video didn't cover all of the features. If you want to know everything that was included in this update, I'm going to put a link to the After Effects product page down in the description of the video, so do go check that out. Also, since this video was just a quick overview of some of the top new features in After Effects, I know I did move through things quite quickly. If you do want a separate tutorial on some of these cool new techniques, do leave me a comment below and I will get around to doing that. I really hope you enjoyed this video. As always, please leave any comments, questions or suggestions down in the section below. Please remember to subscribe by clicking the subscribe button up there, hit that like button and share the video around, it really helps out a lot. And as always, you can also find and follow me on Facebook or Twitter. Until next time, I will see you later.